So I've started today by reading through what I wrote previously and checking on my success criteria that I am including all of the features of a warning story. So far I have used my dialogue to move the story along in my first paragraph and I've also used some figurative language but I know I need to use a lot more um, which I'm going to do today. Um, I have used some interesting sentence starters and I have included a subordinate conjunction but I want to include more language like that. So here goes day two, paragraph three and four. Sophie and I always hung out here after school or at the weekend. Today was no exception. Despite a beautiful start to the day, grey clouds now descended from above. The wind began to whine through the trees and bend the branches. Inside the attic, we felt safe as raindrops the size of bullets hammered on the window. Through the cracks, the wind woke the dust which now tickled our nostrils along with the distinct smell of mould. Sophie had brought some cushions her mum had been throwing away and I had taken one of Dad's camping lanterns which made the room more cosy. We were surrounded by old toys and junk but it wasn't ours to throw away. We were just sitting down to enjoy some chocolate and read our magazines when we heard it, an enormous crash as shards of glass flew across the cluttered room. At that moment, the attic door slammed and the boat dropped on the other side. When you're happy with what you have written, remember to email it to one of us, your, your form tutor, or if you're typing it, you can upload it into the homework folder um, or again, send it via email. Choice is yours. We look forward to reading your third and fourth paragraphs. Good luck.